Good morning and what's up YouTube family? Sorry for the bags in my eyes, but today, if you can tell behind me, next new project. We are gonna be working on my driveway. Got this driveway installed about eight months ago and because of South Florida, it started raining. It rained every day, so I couldn't seal it. Now that we're in the nice uh, cool months, today I'm gonna clean it and we're gonna get to the ceiling. I'm gonna walk you through the process and I'm gonna show you a couple things. So let's get to it. It's gonna be a nice long day. So here it is in the morning time. As you can tell, some of the pavers are still wet. But we're gonna to have to come back here, through here. And uh, we're gonna clean this, put some chlorine on it, take the stains away. And the biggest problem I have is if you can tell here it's the joints blowing out all the sand coming out because of the ants these stupid ants like to find any little escape see over here see a little trail of sand coming out that's them pushing it out walk through the whole driveway find some more like over here you can see So that's what we're gonna get on today. I got a couple stains already, tire marks we're gonna get rid of. A little rust stain, hopefully I'll be able to take care of that too. And put a nice seal on it and it should come out looking beautiful. I hope. <laughs> All right, so let's get to it. All right, and we're back. And what we got here is a little pump spray already pumped up. And what I did was, uh, I took some uh, bleach, or well, SH chlorine, and I reduced it to about 3%. Nice, little strong mixture. Then we're gonna come over here, hit the stains. What we wanna do is here, is got a little bit of mold and mildew over here. We're gonna hit the stains with our pump spray here. And we're gonna let that, what we call dwell. Let it sit on there for a good five to 10 minutes. Come back, then hit it with the pressure cleaner. Should be all nice and bright. Just wanna get all that little mold and mildew and discoloration that we got on a couple of these pavers here, especially the white ones here. Just build up the dirt, accumulates in the pores because I didn't seal it. Should have sealed it like right away, but no. But there you go. You see it turning white? There it is, doing its job. That's what it's supposed to be doing. And over here under the planter, these are the stubborn ants. So, sorry. We're gonna hit these guys too. Kill the ants. Take some of that stain away. And then we're gonna come back and uh, I'll hit it with the pressure cleaner. And it takes all these stains out. So let's get to it. Sit over here. Add some rust stains. We'll hit it with this. Now we'll come back and hit it with something else.
All right, here's our tape. Now we get that, we got the, uh, the chlorine and the water mixture, nice concentrated Buddha mixture down. It's been uh, dwelling for a couple minutes and it'll do its thing and work. You can still see it foaming up. I'm gonna come over here, nice little low pressure, pressure cleaner. We're gonna hit the spots and see what they come out like. Get at it. All right, we're back again. Sorry for the audio, but my microphone's dead. But the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sand the joints. So what happens here is, as you can see, in between the joints, there used to be sand, but for first washing and the rain and stuff, it's all blown out. So I already started, so let me give you a you can kind of see the difference. So, you see this joint, no sand. And you see this joint, and the other ones, I started putting sand in. So it gives it a little bit better appearance. Plus, you don't lose your base. So, that's where we're at right now. That's what we're going to start doing. I didn't buy regular sand. I bought this uh, polymeric sand right here at Lowe's. Come over here so you can see in the corners here uh, let's zoom in all the sand is blown out that's some time in the rain because i didn't seal it if i would have sealed it a long time ago it would have stayed in place a little longer but this is probably going to be an every two year project so it's just one of the nice things about having pavers so right now you see the pavers are drying from when i cleaned them I wait about another hour let the sun hit them I got those over there in the corner because the sun's been hitting on them, but because of my trees over here, I got a little bit of shade. So I went for the sun to shift over in about an hour, warm those up, dry them up, spread the sand. Once I spread the sand, I'll blow off the excess sand and then we can start sealing. Let's keep going. Okay, so here's, so you can see, here's the driveway. I've been cleaning it all day long. Uh, some spots are still a little, a little wet. Sorry about the noise. I do a little closer in the intersection. So, what I did do was, I did come out here. Sorry about the glare, you can see me holding the camera. Uh, I did apply the fresh coat of sealer. So you can tell it's a little bit of splotchiness. Gotta get the spray pattern a little bit better on my sprayer, but once I go over with the second coat, the second coat, it'll all be all nice. So you can tell this difference compared to that. One more time, we go before and after. So this is what we're going for. So I got my pump sprayer set up over there. We're gonna put in two gallons over here. Should be able to do this. It says a thousand square feet. So I got for the five gallons, so I should be able to do that. So let's see what this looks like after I'm done. So let's get to it. Here's the end result. I did about sundown, getting shadows, but you can tell 
Let's put the last coat on. Still, see over here, it's trying to absorb still. But, let's see, it brought the color back in the paper. So that's what I wanted, not that faded color. So it's gonna look, uh, a couple of dark spots. I should've got a real pressure cleaner instead of that little one that I have. Sorry about the glare there. Uh, but I think overall it came out good. I mean, what I wanted to do was bring the color back and it definitely did. And the joints are all grouted again. Sand's in between them. So I don't have to worry about all this getting washed out again with that polymeric sand. So it looks good. All right guys, thanks for joining me. Hope to bring you another project soon. Bye now.